This PC gaming footage was powered by the Doghouse Systems Armor Series PCs. Use the coupon code CLEAT today at doghousesystems.com. When you're serious about PC gaming, it's time to level up with a Doghouse Gaming Rig. Hey everyone, Tony here with the ClassicLeak.com gaming podcast and... Uh... Before I get started with this review, I just want to mention the video has been recorded with the Hapog Colossus HD capture card. And I know there's already been a lot of reviews for Modern Warfare 3, but since I just got a fresh copy of the PC version and my new doghouse system, I knew it was time to level up and jump right into some great first person shooter action with Modern Warfare 3. So here's the official Classic Elite review. As far as Modern Warfare 3 goes, the story's okay. I've never played the Modern Warfare 3 games for story though. And although it continues to build on the same characters and themes from the first two Modern Warfare games, it's once again forgettable. I really just play for the action. Now you're going to be comfortable right when you jump in. The menu system mimics Modern Warfare 2, just to make you feel at home. There are three gameplay types, the single player, multiplayer, and the spec ops, and each kind of contains its own variations of modes. The single player game, like I said, the story leaves a lot to be desired. Modern Warfare 3 pulls you in with that high flying action that you're used to from Call of Duty games. There are lots of battles, lots of explosions, and great cinematic events. And those are the things that really are going to pull you into this game. I personally really enjoyed the single player game in Modern Warfare 3. You know, now that I'm a little bit older and I have kids, I don't have as much time to play competitive multiplayer as I used to, so I've really gravitated towards the single player experience, and you really won't be disappointed with Modern Warfare 3. It kind of keeps you on the edge of your seat the whole time, and I was really captivated all the way through. Now, the multiplayer, anyone who logs into the online multiplayer who's already played one of the Modern Warfare or maybe a Black Ops title in the Call of Duty series will be right at home. Uh, it provides really the best multiplayer in the series, though. It has the most unlockables and tons of ways to level up. I'm sure there's a bunch of fanboys out there criticizing it for who knows what, but it really is good, solid multiplayer if you're a fan of the series. There's also new ways to track your stats if you take advantage uh, or even pay for the Call of Duty Elite. Kind of reminds me of an advanced version of the Halo Waypoint. And the Modern Warfare series has always championed leveling up within multiplayer in a way that no other game has or other games have copied by now. So that really captivates you. They keep you on the edge of your seat with unlockables and Modern Warfare 3 is no different. It continues that tradition. In addition to the multiplayer is the new survival mode which kind of compensates for a lack of zombie mode in the Modern Warfare series and it's fun. I had a good time playing this with a friend the other night. Spec Ops is still really the most fun to me. You get to play through different level scenarios with a friend, um, kind of bits and pieces of the single player story. It's very well done and it's still a blast to play with friends. For me this is where I spend most of my multiplayer time in Spec Ops. Graphically, the, the engine is obviously dated. They've kind of rehashed some things from the older Modern Warfare games, but it still looks good, especially on a high-end PC like this one. As you can see here, um, the PC is my preferred experience because of the sharp graphics. And the game does run at 60 frames per second, which is a great achievement. Controls are pretty much unchanged from Modern Warfare 2. Um, really good, really good controls. Uh, I mean, the people at Activision would be stupid to change the controls at this point. So I was really impressed with how they did the controls and continued that continuity throughout the series. Overall, people are going to love it and people are going to hate it. But whatever your preference is, if you're a fan of the Call of Duty series and desire more of the same and ready to go in and prestige again in the multiplayer modes and enjoy a great single player experience, make sure you pick up Modern Warfare 3 today.